Hey guys, welcome to our channel Coders Arcade. In today's video, we are going to talk about Git. So in our last video about Git, we talked about how we can install and configure Git. In this video, I'm going to show you some of the commands for Git. So let us see one by one. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my Git workspace there where I want Git repository to be made. And uh, I'm going to go there and I'm going to right click after you have installed Git successfully you will see these two options right here on when you right click onto anywhere so git gui here and git bash here so this are these are the two options that you get when you install git properly so git gui is the gui software that you are going to get with git and git bash is what we call something like command prompt like windows powershell which is dedicated for git so git bash we are going to use git bash here and when you when we click on to this git bash you can see this window has opened now i'm going to just make it large and i'm going to just zoom it so you can see it properly like this and here first of all i'm going to write the basic help command so here you can directly write git and then you can just just give two dashes and then write here help and once you press enter, you can see that these are the help commands that you can get. So here in help, you get all the details of each and every command that you can use into the git. But suppose you don't want to see all this information, then you can just write git and then single dash and then h. So and if you press enter, you will be only seeing the commands in short form or brief. So these were the two help commands and now let us see how we can make a directory and we can create a repository. So first of all, I'm going to write here. I'll zoom it a more little bit. And then here I'm going to write mkdir. That means make directory. And then I'm going to write space. And then I'm going to write my name of my directory. So let us say um, git trial is the name of my directory, right? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to press enter and you can see that in our workspace, our git trial directory has been made. Now we need to go into this directory, right? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to give a command called CD and then in, after CD, I'm going to give the name of my directory that I've made right now. So git trial is the name of my directory and CD will change my directory. So you can see here in you can see here after workspace we are on to our git trial correct now what i'm going to do is here i am going to initialize a git repository so what we need to do for that is i'm going to write here git and i'm going to write in it and once i press enter you will see that one git repository has been made so initializing empty git repository in this directory right here and you can see at the last dot git which is dot git now this file is usually hidden here in the repository in whatever directory you make this repository is hidden and uh, once you see that once you initialize the directory you can see this master right here coming that means that we are on to our repository and uh, this folder is generally hidden but you can go on to that folder and you can see it properly so here this is the git trial that we made using the mkdir git and once you double click onto it you can see just because um i have clicked ticked onto this hidden items and if i take on to that again so this will hide it just because i told you that dot git folder is already hidden that is why you need to unhide that and you can see that this is the git folder and now here you can see this is what is our repository so here you can see there are many subdirectories onto this so hooks info object refs config and so many things so the problem with this is if you delete this if you delete any single file onto this you will delete your part of the directory or it is going to corrupt the repository itself so what you need to do is you need to take care of this folder so either you, we don't work onto this folder we just use this folder and then accordingly we use our other commands so that is why it is hidden so we do we don't have to worry about it i'm going to just go back to my um git bash and here if you type ls you can see that there is nothing because that git folder is that git directory has been hidden but if i write ls 
space dash a that means a for all and if i press enter you can see that you can see here that dot git has been shown so actually that is hidden that is why it is not being shown onto this ls command and uh, but if we write here ls and then space dash a then this will show this is going to show me dot git folder that is going to be there so after this what we can do is we can also delete the repository so how we can do that we can just write rm and we can just write dash rf and then space dot git which is git and if i press enter you will see that this git folder has been deleted and you you can see now this time this master is not coming onto this command that is that means that we have deleted our repository successfully okay now again i'm going to initialize the git and i'm going to write here git init and you can see that master is master has come here again and you can see this means that our git repository has been made again successfully all right so i hope you have understood this we talked about different different commands right here so we talked about git help git h then mkdir with the git directory so this you can see how we can uh, create the repositories directory and then we change onto that directory and then we initialize the repository we deleted that repository and and saw the details about that repository and successfully after successfully deleting that we again initialized it so these were the initial commands that you need to know to create a repository onto your system using git using git bash so i hope you have followed well and if there is any doubt please tell me in the comment section i'll clear your doubts then and there only and thanks for watching catch you guys in the next one so this is all about this video guys thanks for watching hope you like the video and if you like it then tell us in the comment section below if you have any doubts then post them in the comment section i will definitely try to clear those doubts also like share and subscribe to our channel coders arcade and press the bell icon so that you will get a notification when we post our new video thank you happy learning